Hi there, I'm Dustin Warnke, and in this segment we're going to talk about one of my favorite broadheads in the whole wide world, and that is Grim Reaper broadheads. And Grim Reaper makes fixed blade and expandable broadheads, or mechanical broadheads, and the thing that they're best known for is probably their mechanical broadheads, because there's several different commercials out there and a bunch of different TV shows that use them. The reason why I use Grim Reapers and I'm so sold out on Grim Reapers versus any other broadhead is because they work time after time after time. To date, I have 15 archery kills under my belt with Grim Reaper. All of them I've either watched drop or I've been able to find the blood trail and find the animal. Even marginal shots sometimes. Even angled shots. I mean, awesome, awesome performance every single time with a mechanical head. And Prowler, Bill, has always been a, a you know fixed blade guy because of the issues that he's had with mechanicals in the past. And I personally used to shoot mechanicals and swore off of them for quite some years because I had one that I bought that was a really cheap made broadhead that used O-rings, which Grim Reapers do not use O-rings. And um, that I hit the deer back in the liver actually, right behind the lungs. It went straight through just like shooting it with a field point. The expandables never expanded. The mechanicals never opened and uh, it was a three blade head and I threw him away and was never going to use a broadhead again until my friend brought me to Grim Reapers and said you know what you hunt in a suburban area which I do I've got a wide variety of, uh, of land that I hunt but one of the areas I have the most success in is a little green belt area on a creek bed that runs next to a neighborhood now it's not right in the middle of the neighborhood obviously but it's a place where you can really only use archery because there's so much uh, sub suburban life around it and there are a lot of folks and a lot of big bucks there and a lot of folks um, hunt that way now too but I've got to drop that deer soon. I do not want that deer wandering off somewhere, you know, to die wherever. And uh, I've started using Grim Reapers, and this year it was so funny because I, I shot five deer total. I watched all five of them drop. I even made a game of it of counting how long till they fell over after I shot them. And 10 seconds was the average. I'd shoot them, I'd watch them run off, I'd actually be able to watch with a line of sight of where they ran, depending on which way they were pointed, and watch them fall over. It was absolutely incredible, and I would not be such a huge fan of Grim Reapers if they didn't work time after time after time. Recently, I was just on a hog hunt, used Grim Reapers paired with a Luminoc in my compound bow. Fantastic performance on those, too. A lot of folks think, oh man, hogs, you've got to use fixed blade. Not so much. Grim Reapers, as long as you've got the kinetic energy right and you make sure that you shoot uh, your power of your, of your bow or crossbow comparatively to the amount of cut diameter that you buy on the Grim Reapers, and I'll go over that in a minute, you'll be in good shape. So let's talk about that real quick. I brought you a crossbow bolt. This is a um, Grim Reaper 125 grain crossbow bolt that I've got set up here. And uh, this is the razor cut, which has a little cut on contact blade at the very tip of it. And then all three blades, it's a three blade. And that's all the Grim Reaper makes for mechanicals is three blades. And I like that because better than a two blade, when you're dealing with the two blades, sometimes that animal can recover and heal and it's not going to be a lethal shot, no matter even if you hit it in a vital organ or close to a vital organ. With a three inch, and this is a two inch cut diameter and 125 grain, I've got the expander cups in this one you're not going to lose an animal most likely if you hit it in the right vital spots. And I'm saying that from personal experience. So that is my crossbow bolt set up, 125 grain, shooting that out of my Barnett C5 Wildcat crossbow at approximately 300 feet per second. So it's pretty fast. And my compound bow setup, I shoot a Martin uh, Scepter II uh, compound crossbow. And this is a standard full length arrow. I cut my arrows down a little bit, but this is about the right size. I shoot a 30 inch draw length, which is about one of the longest draw lengths in archery. So I've got a very big wingspan. I'm about six foot five. And uh, this is the 100 grain Whitetail Special. This is the uh, biggest version of Grim Reapers that are made, two inch cut radius as well, just in 100 grain. Sometimes I'll go to 125 grain depending on what grain of arrow I'm shooting or what stiffness of spine I'm shooting inside the arrow uh, in that regard, but uh, that, is, uh, that is my other choice for that. I shoot the two inch because I like to shoot high power. Now I shoot a 62 inch pound uh, draw weight and I shoot a 30 inch draw so I've got enough kinetic energy going into that animal to get a pass-through shot or close to a pass-through shot uh, if you're going to be shooting lighter bows in that something in the 40 to 50 pound range or something in the um, 
smaller draw length. If you don't have a draw length as long as mine, maybe 27 inches or so, and you're shooting in the 40 or 50 pound draw weight, you're going to probably want to stick with the inch and 3 eighths inch, which is the beginning level of the Grim Reapers, the smallest cut diameter, to get the best penetration to go through your animal whenever you're hunting. Uh, penetration and pass-through is so important, especially when it comes to compound arrows. You want to make sure you get a good uh, entrance shot and exit hole so you've got uh, maximum hemorrhaging when it comes to recovering that game later. And let me tell you, these do the trick every time. The other joy I love about Grim Reapers is you can take and strip off the uh, broadheads after you've hunted with them. It's a very, very easy process. All you do is just unscrew them, take the expander cup off of, or the bottom standard cup off of them. Uh, there's a little spring underneath there, and then there's the blades that are held on by two rings. There's no O-rings. There's no rubber bands. It's a beautiful, beautiful concept, and it's a very simplistic concept as well that they use, which makes these so durable. And the nice thing, too, is that the ferrule, unless you bend the ferrule part, I believe that's the right way to say it, the feral part of the, uh, the main body of the broadhead, you can reuse the same broadhead over and over again just by getting a rebuild kit for about $20. And these run about a pack of, these is going to cost right around about uh, $35 to $45. If you don't get these more in your um, archery shops, ask for them or go to GrimReaperBroadheads.com. They're going to be in about the, the, the high 30s to um, low $40 range for these. But you'll get a practice tip and you'll get three uh, Grim Reaper Broadheads in a pack of whatever pack that you're buying. And you'll be in good shape there as well. But the practice tip is there just because a lot of other broadheads, I believe, put practice tips in theirs. They're going to fly like a field point, trust me. They've been machined and they're very, very durable. So you can use a practice tip if you want to. I just decided on using my field points because I have fantastic results with these. But I've rebuilt more than a few of these and I've actually got my rebuilding time to down under two minutes to getting one stripped off and cleaned up and completely rebuilt again. And there's a rebuilding kit that they sell for, like I said, about $20. You can sit there and use the same main body over and over again. Every time I shoot an animal though, I want to rebuild the blades. The blades are the most important part when you're dealing with pass-through and I want to make sure everything functions perfectly every time. And then all three blades after I've rebuilt it are going to open just like that and snap right back into place just like that, all three of them. So you have your choices between the razor tip and the razor cut. I personally prefer the razor tip. It has a trocar um, tip to it that's very strong and very uh, will punch through just about anything. Uh, in Texas here we have hog hunting and you've got big, big, thick shields. I need something that's going to penetrate through that. Razor cut works well too. I've used that on white tails and hogs both. Uh, only problem is sometimes whenever you hit a rock or anything else, uh, the trocar tip is going to take a little bit better, the chisel tip rather, is going to take a little bit better uh, abuse than the, uh, I've bent one of these tips before and then you've got to replace the whole uh, broadhead in that regard, but it's no big deal. Um, these are a lot of fun. So you've got several different options. If you're into the fixed blade broadheads, which a lot of folks are, uh, they make the Hades series. Grim Reaper Hades are fantastic. They fly pretty true uh, compared to a lot of other fixed blade broadheads. Some in particular fly awful compared to all the different uh, other uh, field tip and, um, and if you're shooting a mechanical broadhead setup. So a Hades is a good recommendation if you do not want to shoot a mechanical for some reason and you have to stay with the fixed blade, the Hades is there for those kind of folks. And Bill was a big guy, that's Prowler, was a big fanatic of staying with the fixed blade until I turned him on to mechanicals. And he shot a Coyote, a Bobcat, a couple of other smaller um, game with this and hasn't done any deer or hog hunting to this date with these yet, but he has been so impressed at the massive amount of, of damage that these broadheads do when they get in, the hemorrhaging that they do, and the, the exit holes and cut radius and everything like that. He's a huge fan of these, so I've kind of sold him out on Grim Reaper Mechanicals versus sticking with the, uh, the fixed blade now. So you're going to do fine with any of Grim Reaper's products. You can view their website at GrimReaperBroadheads.com and you can also view them through our website. So that's GrimReaperBroadheads.com is their website and view, view them on our website as well, MacAndProwler.com. Thank you so much for watching our segment today.